Hey guys, it's Chris from Highline Guitars and you're watching another episode of From the Luthiers Workbench. In this episode, I thought I would share with you yet another reason why I love my CNC machine. Now, as you know, part of the process of making a guitar involves the fabrication of templates, jigs, and fixtures. And these items are used to help assemble a guitar. And the problem is you can end up spending just as much time making a template or jig or fixtures as you do actually making the guitar. Well, having a CNC machine affords me the opportunity to make the jigs and fixtures that I need, not only very quickly, but I can tailor them to the custom guitars that I build. And let me show you one of the fixtures that I made using my CNC machine and I think you'll see why this is such a great way to do this. Because of the way that I make my guitar necks, I need to have a fixture which will support the deck as I clamp the fretboard into position. To do this, I'll use the model that I created on my computer for the neck to actually design a fixture to support the neck that is tailored specifically for that particular neck. I'll also use it to design a clamping call for the fretboard. It took me about 30 minutes to design both the fixture and the fretboard clamping call. And that includes the time it takes to set up the tool paths and write the G-code. And once those were ready, I could then move to the CNC machine and begin the process of carving out these two fixtures using some scrap MDF that I had laying around the shop. And the total time for carving these pieces out on my CNC machine was about 30 minutes. So all told, to design it and make it took about an hour. And here's how I use it. First thing I'll do is I'll put down some masking tape on the support fixture. And that's just going to protect it from any glue that squeezes out during the fretboard clamping process. Then I'll mask off the truss rod to keep glue from getting into that uh, slot. Then I'll lay down a bead of glue and spread it with a, a brush to get a nice even application of the glue before gluing on the fretboard. And then once I have the glue spread out evenly, I'll remove that masking tape from the truss rod and then I'll put down a couple of very small pinches of table salt. And what that does is it keeps the fretboard from sliding once it's under clamping pressure. Now the way I designed the fretboard clamping call is it has a center channel which uh, means the majority of the uh, clamping pressure will be applied to the edge uh, between the truss rod slot and the edge of the neck you know you have a good glue up when you have even squeeze out the entire length of both sides of the fretboard. And that's how I use this fixture to support the neck as I glue on the fretboard. However, there is one other useful application for this fixture. Since I like to press in my frets using a one-ton arbor press, I need to have support for the back of the neck as I apply all that downward force. Otherwise, it could damage the neck. And this support fixture does a great job of providing all the support that it needs. And so there you have it. That's how I used my CNC machine to make this incredibly simple neck support fixture and fretboard clamping call. 